Good evening, boxing fans. I'm Stu Taylor, and welcome aboard to the CYC in Scranton, Pennsylvania, as Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing presents another terrific event. Tonight, in the main event, two heavyweights, Robert Higgins, who's guaranteed to put on one great, exciting, and electrifying show. He's an up-and-coming heavyweight who started late, will square off against a local favorite, Ron McCarthy, a guy who's been a crossroads fighter for a lot of prospects. This should be a great fight. Your assessment on it, Gregory Juckett, who's joining me, sports columnist. What do you have to say about this? I'm excited about seeing Robert Wiggins. The Queens native is now up to 9-0. He's uh, coming off a second round knockout in July, continuing to pad his record and go up through the ranks. But in, tonight he's got Ron McCarthy, who's been in with many world-class heavyweights. He's an Allentown native from right here in the area. Could be some fireworks tonight in that main event. I'm excited about it. Well, I expect that if, it's, if it works out as it has in past fights, both these guys will put on one entertaining show. We'll have lots more coming up. I feel strong, I feel young enough, I think I have enough energy, I believe I have the energy. I just gotta work hard over the next two, three, maybe four, tops five years to do what I can do, you know? Take one step at a time and just keep fighting. Well, more than that, it was the guy who put pressure on me. He came out to fight, so I had to show I can fight too. I just, as he became on stronger, I came on stronger. It just became a, a brawl, a fight. Sometimes it got a little out of control and it wasn't fighting to your potentials, but I did what I had to do to win. Well, I don't know much about Mr. Wiggins besides his name. I never met him, and, you know, he's a southpaw, I was told. So I fought a couple of southpaws, and I had problems, but, you know, it went beyond, I guess, a little boxing. But yet still, I think tonight it should be a real good fight and a good test for me. And I've been training. I had a little time to kind of, like, get ready for the fight. So I think that would play a key role, you know, that I was prepared when I heard about the fight coming up. Yeah, Joe DeGuardia's star boxing, I'll tell you, every presentation Joe DeGuardia puts together has been a huge success. And, uh, you know, I, I've almost, almost felt that I've been in Las Vegas or Atlantic City with seeing some of the responses. We get ready right now for the main event, Bernard, and uh, it'll be Robert Wiggins. Uh, I don't know if you've seen him, but I've done a couple of his fights, and uh, he is exciting. I'd like to see him go up against Butterbean. Robert Wiggins, starting late at the age of 30, 31, and uh, uh, nine wins, no losses, six KOs. He's going up uh, against another one of these tough guys, a local favorite. Uh, the, the, the fans will be rooting for Ron McCarthy of Allentown, Pennsylvania. Perhaps you are familiar with him. I, I, I'm not. Uh, he's uh, gone the distance with Vaughn Bean. He's taken a lot of those uh, heavyweights, and... Um, He's a, he's a guy that, that may give Wiggins some trouble. And Wiggins has, has taken off some weight. He looks trim. Uh, have you seen him fight? This guy here can punch. This guy can. You see the yes. Nick Nearest yes. fight? I've seen, I seen right. him a couple of times in Philadelphia. Right. I know one is. All right, we got, we got both McCarthy and Wiggins in the ring. We're going to go to ring announcer Fred Blumstein for the announcement. Introductions. You know, boxing fans, people always talk about what's wrong with boxing. Well, one of the right. ills no, of boxing right. is the lack of support for the local promoter. How about world famous Lou Duva coming all the way to Scranton, Pennsylvania to support the boxing here tonight in Northeastern Pennsylvania. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening and is sanctioned by the Pennsylvania State Athletic Commission. The chairman, the last of the two-way men, Chuck Bidnarik. Executive director, Greg Sir. Doctor in attendance at ringside, Dr. Lesnitschi. And your timekeeper to Bell, Bill Reese. Three judges scoring the battle ringside are Bernard Bruni, 
Jackie Castellani, and Bill Flasser. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe DeGuardia's four-star boxing presents the main event of the evening, six rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. Referee for this bout is Gary Rosado. Introducing first out of the red corner to my right, wearing the solid black trunks. He weighed in this morning at 218 and one half pounds. His professional record, a perfect one, nine wins. Six of his wins coming by way of knockout. From Warwick, Rhode Island, here is Robert Wiggins. And his opponent out of the blue corner to my left, wearing the white trunks with the black trim. He weighed in this morning at an even 229 pounds. His record, 10 wins against 18 defeats. Training out of the Larry Holmes Training Center in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Here is Ron Stingray McCarthy. Six rounds. Heavyweights. I got a feeling we're going to see something here, Bernard. Uh, this this has the makings of an exciting fight. All right, now, joining me here for the analysis, world IBF world champion, uh, world middleweight champion, Bernard Hopkins. Uh, not much more needs to be said. He's uh, certainly one of the elite boxers uh, in the world today. And uh, when you measure this era's best, you'd be remiss if you left out Bernard Hopkins. Uh, I have the pleasure of working with him for, as we uh, have our main event now. And another sensational night by Joe DeGuardia's star boxing. And here we go as both fighters approach the center of the ring, two heavyweights. Uh, have you seen McCarthy fight, Bernard? Yes. Uh, good, good, solid fighter. You know, he's been around for a while. And he's, like you said, he started late. But he got KO power. And the heavyweights, you don't have to be 18 or 17 to really get noticed. Only they have to be is a good fighter with a good record. And people will start paying attention to you. I think this is going to be a real fight inside, slugging fight. It's going to be some good shots taken. And uh, look for a knockout. Somebody's going to get knocked out. And uh, I, I, I don't have, I have an idea who it would be, but I think. You're going to hold the suspense, yeah, huh? I'll, I'll hold it. But this guy, right. can, this guy can punch, man. I mean, he just, yeah. he just buzzed the guy a little bit just now. But wait till he settled down about the sixth, about the seventh round. He might, second round, third round, he's going to really cap this guy down. Yeah, Wiggins, uh, Wiggins will give you an explosive fight. I have not seen McCarthy fight, but uh, I'm, I'm hearing all kinds of wonderful things. Anybody who can go the distance with some of the guys he's gone with has got to have the goods. And uh, both fighters looking tense in the ring and uh, just trying to find some kind of a, a pattern, some kind of a, uh, a rhythm. No one is using the jab. No one came out and used the basics. You see a jab there, but that's you, not a... That's you didn't a, expect that, did you? Well, in a way, no, but, I, you know, to set up shots... You got to set up with a jab, and you got to make sure that the jab hits something, you know, on the body. You got to make sure that the arms, the legs, I mean, you know, right. the head. You want to use that jab as a measuring stick to set up either your left or your right. That was a, that was a good one, too, off the jab. So you, you'd recommend that both of these guys try to establish their jab before they... It, it opens up. It's the, basic, yeah. it's the basic punch in boxing, the jab. You know, the jab sets up everything. Well, you know. some, some of these guys should look at Lennox Lewis and John Ruiz if they want to look at someone who can throw that jab. And it's amazing when they get in the ring with all the training, they, they just somehow seem to forget it. Exactly, because it's not actually a punch that knocks you out. And people want the knockouts. They The fighters want the knockouts. But one of the, the greatest jabbers I ever known was Larry Holmes. One of the best. And, yeah. and I, I still feel one of the great underrated fighters of all time with that tremendous reign he had as undefeated because it became a personality contest. Just like the presidency, Bernard, people look at the way people dress and what they look and measure everything instead of the issues. Look at the issues with Larry Holmes, one of the greats of all time. Exactly. I'm exactly. I think today even Larry Holmes is still underrated. He achieved a lot. Uh, the Eastern Assassin, I mean, he beat a lot of great people. I mean, he fought Ken Norton, the Acorn. Ken Norton, I mean, he fought a lot of people. Ernie Shavers. I mean, you know, the, the greatest puncher of all time, Ernie Shavers. The greatest heavyweight puncher yeah, of absolutely. all time. Absolutely. George exactly. Foreman second, in my estimation, and maybe Tyson third. Exactly. And the heavyweight division is so open now. I mean, any young, 
A middle-aged crack guard come out. Well, we're getting it right now. Exactly. In fact, they're having trouble separating the fighters. We just ended up with that. We're having a casual conversation, and it was a flurry. Exactly. We couldn't jump in fast enough. Exactly. Not. exactly. What See, a great it's, round. It's going to heat up. Uh, it's going to heat up because, the, you know, the butterflies are out, and now it's going to heat up to where they's going to, they're going to settle down and start banging. Okay, we're going to look now at the end of that round when it would seem to be things were just moving along and suddenly a burst from both fighters as, uh, as McCarthy and Wiggins started to open up. There's McCarthy opening up to the midsection of Wiggins. Wiggins, as always, looks like nothing's going to happen before McCarthy sends the left, and then Wiggins comes back with a series of combinations. Both fighters caught up uh, at the sound of the bell. And uh, the referee had, had to break it up. But nothing there that, that was a bill intent. Simply the emotion of the moment. Uh, as we're trying to get, hear what the instructions are from Wiggins getting uh, somewhat scolded in his corner to, to perhaps be a little more defensive and a little more focused in terms of uh, controlling the tempo of the fight as we wait in round two. Here we go, round two. Robert Wiggins, Providence, Rhode Island, 9-0 and with six KOs against uh, local favorite Allentown, Pennsylvania, Ron McCarthy. And Ryan is trying to set up the jab. If you look at Ryan, he's he's pawing the jab. He's just throwing it out there. He's not trying to do no serious damage. But at least he's starting to stick something out he's, there. He's using face. it and he's showing it. Exactly. And if you show it, you give a fighter something else to think about. Exactly. Wiggins coming in, and here we go. It's typical for Wiggins, and he's about 10 or 15, uh, maybe 15 pounds thinner than he was in his last exactly. fight. Exactly. Like Wiggins, like since you see that lazy jab coming out there, he should be trying to come over top of the jab. Uh -huh, right. He should try to come over top of the jab because he's just throwing the jab out yeah. there, and if he ain't bringing it back quick enough, then he should counter it and come over top of it. It'll be a great left. He's a southpaw, so it'll be a great right over top of his left hand. Mm -hmm. so he's just pawing with the jab. You know, he's just pawing with, with, with it. He's right. pawing with it. He's not trying to do no serious damage. And then he comes with that right, that sneaky right. McCarthy, exactly. McCarthy not. Oh, a southpaw. A southpaw right hand is closer to, closer to the orthodox bodies because of the way a southpaw and orthodox are, are lined up against each other. All right. If you're fighting, if you're fighting a southpaw, you got to move to the outside of his leg in the other direction to take away his punch. Exactly. And uh, they forget it. It's 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 difficult to have. It takes a great champion to have that focus and concentration and not and not to lose sense of where you're going. And uh, these fighters, exciting fighters. But you know, th there is a word and it's spelled D E F E N S E, and I don't mean prevent defense. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I mean, you know, that was a great double right hook to the body and to the head, and he ran over against the ropes. Now he sh I think he should just start banging the body. The hands are loose while well, the, the referee's breaking them down, but once he get in close, the body. I mean, if you, look at, if you look at the bodies and the condition of both fighters, one do have a little flat tire hanging around his shorts where he should be, you know, working on that flat tire and taking the energy and the strength away from him and then wearing him down for the next round. Right. I, I see also in some of these wide loping punches, neither fighter has the experience to take advantage of capitalizing on it when, that, when, the, when the aggressor leaves himself open. Right now there's some infighting, which has been a little bit rare, some short punches with a lot of impact, and then they go back to their, uh, well, they're, they're back in there again, right. trying to establish this inside. Now this where we're going to see the punishment be dished out on both fighters. Both fighters are going to give each other punishment because they inside they're throwing good hooks and no one is giving ground so i mean this is where i believe that punishment is going to be dished out on both guys in, in, in Obernardi, uh, i think of what i call the david bay syndrome big stomach when he was a heavyweight but he could fight mickey lolich is a major league pitcher big stomach is there a danger here that wiggins might have taken off too much weight too fast and it may play into this fight especially in the heavyweights when you've been pushed around leaned on and your legs are small like a super middleweight. Yes, I mean, you can overtrain. You can over, what we say in boxing, you can overshoot the runway and overtrain for a fight. Yeah. Hey, boxing fans, come out for live boxing. Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing presents Rockin' Fights. For ticket information, go to starboxing.com or ticketmaster.com. See some of the best young fighters. Star Boxing, Rockin' Fights, it's a knockout. Round three, round three beginning in Bernard. You had an interesting observation here between rounds when they went back to their corners. Yes, I did. I've seen it, that after the round was over. Oh, Wiggins coming in. And yeah, I was watching. After the round was over, I yeah. seen Wiggins sit back in the corner 
and he put both of his arms on the ropes to get it breathing. That's a sign of that he spent some change the last round, and he might be sucking it up, but he has to either put punishment on this guy and reserve some of his energy and take it into maybe another round or two and then refill up and then, you know, take, try to take this guy out of here. Right. But he seemed to be spent a little. Yeah, that, that is interesting. He did come out with a flurry right now. Now we're going to see how his ability to recoup. And he's shown this in past fights when you thought he was finished to come back. And there he goes again, displaying some of the same characteristics as he has in past fights. Every time you think he's tired and fatigued, he comes back. He just landed a solid left uh, to the head of McCarthy. Combinations up and, up and down. He's going to the body. He's going to the head. That was a great right hook he just hit him with. This different guy, angles. Different angles. He's never standing straight in front of a guy. He's giving him angles so he won't get countered by any other shots that's coming from the opponent. Even a little bit of shoulder roll on a part of Wiggins to escape uh, the attempts of McCarthy to come in there. So uh, It's part of the experience that he has to roll and, and slip and, and, and give him angles and come around. That's an angle shot there. He's, right. he's never in front of a guy. He's always on an angle on the blind side of the guy where the guy's not in, 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 in route to hit him back. Right. Now, I don't, don't want to take up a, 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 a shot at age here or anything, but Wiggins started his professional career at 30, 31, so he's got a sense of urgency to make up in years. A very short time, but it takes other fighters years to do right now as both fighters are in the corner. Wiggins getting slightly the best of it right now. I don't know, I'm not sure McCarthy is is in the shape he was in in round one. He's taking too many shots here. He's taking too many shots, and the referee's paying attention. Uh, not that I'm saying that he should uh, think about stopping or attempting to stop a fight, but I think that if, if Wiggins continued to throw punches and continued to, to hit him with great shots, I think I think it will show that this guy here is, uh, 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 is, is taking a, a pretty good beating, and the referee might think about him maybe a round or two stepping in. But this guy's taking some great shots. I mean, you know, he's took... The best shots, maybe you think he won't be able to get hurt. You no, know, won't get hurt by the shots, but you know, if it, it comes now, if this guy's taking the absolute too much shots, somebody has to be somebody has to be wise enough to say, okay, you're either gonna punch back or right. I'm gonna have to stop the fight. It's corner, maybe, you know. Yeah. Uh, absolutely, and sometimes uh, as it has in other fights, it just suddenly shows up. But so yeah. far, uh, both guys holding yeah. their own. I think Wiggins is getting the best of it. Yeah. I got him ahead, although it's just as I said that, McCarthy landed a solid exactly. shot to the midsection. That's why you can never be too quick to make two decisions. Now he's fighting back. You know, he's fighting back. He's Maybe he was playing possum. That's why you have to have a great experience referee to realize. You do as the round ends and a little bit of flurry at the end, but these guys got to realize it's six rounds, Bernard. You can't play possum too long as exactly. we... Can't get enough of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing? Download the Star Boxing TV app or check out our Roku channel to watch exclusive content and classic fights. Every punch, every knockout, every screen. The Star Boxing TV app gives you exclusive access to every moment of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing. Available on Apple, Android, and Roku. Just search Star Boxing to get in the ring. Fight so we can get me in that mode. No problem, no problem. <laughs> All right, here we go, round four. Ron McCarthy going up against Robert Wiggins. Two heavyweights in an exciting main event here. Joe DeGuardi is star boxing, guaranteed to give you thrills and excitement and legitimate ones. And if you think I'm just saying it, just listen to the crowd. It works every time there's a Joe DeGuardi is star boxing event. And uh, I'm absolutely uh, thrilled to be part of it. Here we go, round four, Wiggins against McCarthy. And uh, we'll see who's more fatigued right now. We'll see uh, Bernard's analysis, how it plays out uh, in terms of McCarthy having both hands on the ropes uh, between rounds. Wiggins coming in. I'll tell you, I don't know what's going to happen in this fight, but I'll, uh, it's hard for me to see Wiggins not continuing to go for the entire six rounds. He just seems to do it every time he fights. He's tough. I mean, Wiggins is, is, is takes a good... good Good pounding, he's going to keep, continue to go on. Nobody's working the body. I mean, you know, nobody's working the body. Both of these guys is going head hunting. Nobody's working the body. The body is very important. Kill the body, the head, and fall. But there's and it's, it's, it's hard shots up top, but there's no hard shots at the bottom to weaken either guy. Well, I see fatigue here, Bernard. Tell me if I'm correct. McCarthy is flat-footed, standing in the center of the ring here. He's head on to Wiggins. He, he's facing. He's being a direct target right now. He's not moving. Wiggins still has movement. McCarthy is flat-footed. Yes, we can still have life in him. You can tell he's moving, he's sticking, he's pawing the jab. And, and right oh. now he's trying to set him up. That was a great straight left. Nice shot and, by and, Wiggins. And, he's got McCarthy in a little, a little bit of trouble here. He's low hurt. He's low hurt. 
That, that's Kathy a, breathing through his mouth, his mouth open. In fact, both of them a little winded here. This guy here take a tremendous shot. I mean, even though he got hit with great shots, he actually wasn't in real serious danger at any time of this fight. Right. Uh, every, everybody on the card is showing tremendous heart. McCarthy here, uh, he, he's here to fight. There's no doubt about it. He's tired, but he's, he's sucking it up. He's That's what he's doing. He's sucking it up, and he's not... He's, you know, it's clear that he, he hasn't came in here just for a payday. He's trying to give it his all. He's punching inside with short, short right hooks and left hooks in the body, and he's coming forward. There's a little bit of a comeback here by McCarthy. Just when you thought perhaps he, he had had it, that, that little uh, movement in the ring was a slip by Wiggins. It wasn't a punch, but McCarthy coming in, scoring some shots. Question is, is it too little, too late? Both, both of these guys are giving this and our punishment to each other. No one is, is, is actually trying to throw the towel in and, and stop fighting and, and, and basically just play possum or just survive these guys are letting it go both guys are throwing punches and that's what the crowd wants they're getting their money's worth in this fight exactly okay 10 seconds left here in round four you know when i used to hit that hammer knock against that ring apron i used to know that i got 10 seconds to <laughs> try to steal around maybe <laughs> All right, it's the end of uh round four and what is proving to be an exciting main event here robert wick Hey, boxing fans, come out for live boxing. Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing presents Rockin' Fights. For ticket information, go to starboxing.com or ticketmaster.com. See some of the best young fighters. Star Boxing, Rockin' Fights, it's a knockout. Perfect, and, you know, that's maybe a dream world. But, yes, I see dream change. I see de drastic change, especially in the last year, thanks to Senator McCain and a lot of other people. Right, yeah, it's wonderful. And, it's, and uh, Muhammad Ali boxing build. Absolutely. There, there have been a lot of people who have finally come to the forefront to, uh, to take their stake and claim, and uh, I'm sure that's the way you'd prefer it. Uh, here we go. We're, in, uh, we're into round five. I almost forgot here. Uh, to talk about the fight, we go to between rounds, and I'm fascinated with your career. Okay, Wiggins coming on here in the fifth round, but McCarthy standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. McCarthy's leaving himself wide open. He just took a solid left to the head, but boy, I'll tell you something. He's got tenacity. He's moving forward. And he's coming forward. He's got he's hit coming, five, he gets hit, shots. He's coming forward. And he's coming forward. He just got hit again, nailed with two or three shots, and he continued to still come and, 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 and dish out his own punishment. We're seeing a few combinations. They're able to put punches together right now, and we're seeing some counter punching. Wiggins just hanging in there. McCarthy doing the same, and... Uh, I don't think there's anybody in this crowd, Bernard, who's complaining. Oh, no, they definitely, they got their money's worth the first there's two no, rounds. Oh, there's no doubt about it. Can you imagine if it was a 10-round fight? 10-round fight. It would be, yeah, be a bonus. McCarthy coming in, some short, crisp uppercut, something we really haven't seen. Straight left. I'll tell you, quite frankly, with guys this size, I'm, I'm amazed. I think they're both in terrific physical condition. Exactly. I mean, they over 200 pounds, and we know they can punch, and they've taken both punches on both sides well. No one is, no one is backing down and giving each other guy too much respect. They still coming forward. You hit me, I'm going to hit you back. I mean, that's what type of fight. That's we have what here. it is. It, it, in addition to being physical, it's a war of the wills right now. It's a war of the wills, and the best man that ran him five miles and, and got his proper rest is going to pull this fight out strong. At the end. Well, I, I had an, an interesting comment when you talk about fighters, and these two fighters exemplify it, as do you. I said to Dana Rosenblatt prior to his fight, I said, Dana, it'll be nice Saturday when it's over. We'll get together. We get some speaking engagements, etc." He said, Stu, I'm looking forward to fight night. He has the same type of blood I have. So exactly. Because fight night is we keep, we keep getting back to that. <laughs> All right, we're still in round five here. A, a great heavyweight fight. Robert Wiggins and, uh, and, and Ron McCarthy brought to you by Joe DeGuardi of Star Boxing. We can always be guaranteed of quality events and quality matchups great matchups and we've got one right here tonight i, I believe both guys right now is, is taking a little a little, little break slight breather i think the first one that lands a shot the other one is going to go 10 to uh, 1 it doesn't last this breather oh it, it hasn't last yeah. i lost the bet because they <laughs> right now they start to, to clock each other again but i i, I think that now that both of them really is, is picking these shots a little bit more and try to really let the punches count for something not that they wasn't before, but I think they really now is trying right. to reserve some of the punches. That ten seconds, missing. yeah. The ten-second bell. This is the, 
I haven't asked history. you, but uh, but I will ask you as this round ends how you how you see this fight so far. I've got uh, I've got Wiggins out uh, well in front. I got to win it every round. Yeah. I so, as a matter of fact, so do I. We yeah. we're scoring it alike. I guess uh, great minds think alike. Yeah. I have a, I have him winning every round, and but it's competitive winning. I mean, he's right. not winning by by a, a, a clean sweep. I mean, he's getting tested while he wins. He's getting hit back and. Uh, here's, an, here's an interesting analysis. I know we see some of the footage from the fight here. People say, well, you know, the guy run, he won just slightly in every round, 10-9, 10-9, 10-9, 10-9. I say it was a close fight. You know what I say? It wasn't a close fight. The guy won every round. If you win every round 10-9, it's, it's not a close fight. It's not a close fight. Exactly. All right? That's I don't know it. why I said that. I'm not I mean, telling you anything, but I always think of that when people say, boy, it was a close fight. I'm not. So the I guy mean, won every round? Exactly. I fought Antoine Echols last year in December, and I won 11 out of 12 rounds, and they said it was a close round. Well, <laughs> we, we want to talk about Antoine Echols, don't we? And as a matter of fact, do you have an announcement to make? Yes. December, I'll let you make it. December 1st, I'm fighting Antoine Echols in Las Vegas for the championship, the IBF, for my 12th championship defense with Antoine Echols. All right, and where, where can they see it if they're not at the fight? They can, see it, they can see it on HBO, Boxing HBO, After Dark. I'm sorry, HBO, okay. Boxing After Dark. Great. I'll either be in uh, Vegas with you, rooting you on, or I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be Hopefully watching. you'll be there. I hope so, Bernard. I got your card. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. In round seven of, of an eight-rounder uh, between uh, Robin Wiggins and Ron McCarthy, and their boy, they're coming out right now, and as both of us predicted, the fists are flying. The rest was very short. I spoke earlier about <laughs> finishing strong. They finish it strong. You got to respect Wiggins now. He knows he's winning the fight, and he still continue to come and try to dish out much punishment he can without playing safe and trying to stay away from the guy. Right, and I, I get this guy a lot of credit. He's still looking for the he's knockout. He's still looking for it, and never leave the fight in the hands of, of the, the judges. judges. The biggest mistake in the world. Exactly. Ask, ask Oscar De La Hoya, Hoya, who won that fight against Trinidad. When you win eight and the other guy wins four, you win the fight. You win the fight. You, that's right. You win but the fight. He's forever. You never cast. know what they're thinking out there. You Vegas. never know what they're thinking. You got to finish strong, and both these guys are determined to do it. You leave in no doubt. Great, good combination. Three punch combination straight. Left hand, double, right hook. Bernard, you know what surprised me about this fight? Both guys with good punches, really good punches. Neither guy's gone down, and nobody's been close to going down. I'm frankly surprised. Exactly. I mean, these both guys got power dynamite in both hands, and no one actually was serious, seriously hurt. Yeah, and, and that's part of what we often don't talk about. Defense wins games in football. Defense and pitching win it in baseball. Defense can very often be the deciding factor. Both of these guys can take the punches as well as dish out that left. Oh, Wiggins landing a few solid shots at the right and the left. Different angles coming in to McCarthy. McCarthy doesn't seem all that phased, although he is grimacing. He's grimacing, but he's not. He's not. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, these guys have took some shots that the average person would have at least respected him and tried to run all day or been on the, on the canvas. This guy, this guy took some great shots, and he just, he just, he just. Buzzed, he just hit him with a straight right hand down the middle and buzzed him. I mean, right. Wiggins again landing, and those gloves were again a left followed by a right hook. And now there's a nice one of the few real solid crisp jabs by McCarthy, and it's countered by Wiggins coming back with a combination. But both fighters have their gloves a little bit lower, and you're not seeing as much body punching now. You're seeing head hunting. You're seeing all, you're seeing all head hunting. And This is a tough, tough fight. I don't know what these guys are getting paid, but I'll tell you, they earn their money. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And, and fortunately for you, you haven't taken beatings like this. But you, you have an idea, no matter how you end up fighting, how do you feel the next few days as 10 seconds come down? It's tough, isn't it? Yeah, let me tell you something. You feel like you've been, you've been mobbed by guys with bats, and the places that you sorted, you never know you got hit. Right. <laughs> and the I mean, it's, 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 it's the trauma that your body goes through. Right. Got Wiggins out well, well in front. I got to win it every round. Yeah, I so well, as a matter of fact, so do I. We, we're scoring it alike. I guess great minds think alike.
All right, we, we're going to hold this right now. We're going to go to Fred Blumstein. We have a decision. Boxing fans, after six rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecards, and we have a unanimous decision. All three judges, Bernie Bruni, Bill Flasser, and Jackie Castellani, each scored about 60 to 54, and your winner, and still undefeated, Robert Wiggins. Here we go. We got a justifiable conclusion to that, uh, Bernard. Robert uh, Wiggins, undefeated at 10 and 0. 10 and 0 for Wiggins. No shame on the part of Ron McCarthy. Uh, a, a, a fight well done, there's, there's, there's no doubt about it. Uh, both fighters should be credited. Your analysis? Yes, I think both fighters, you know, know that they have us in a tough fight, and you know, they go back to the drawing board, but this was, a, a, again, another fight that both guys was willing to dish the punishment out to each other, and it was a great win. It was a great win for winning. Yeah, it was a terrific win, and uh, it's, it's been a pleasure, uh, an absolute thrill working with you. Uh, I enjoyed this immensely. Hey, I wish we know, I, I'm, I'm a rookie at this, but I'm oh, learning. Be around you long enough, I'll be all right. You're, you're no rookie. Terrific fight. Congratulations. You had a formidable opponent tonight. Mm -hmm. did, did, did you ever feel you were in trouble? No, no, never. Never felt I was in trouble. The only problem was I know he's a big guy. He can hit, and uh, he would throws a lot of right hands. You move out of weight of the right hand, he throws a little bit of left hook. Well, nothing big. Wasn't a, big, a serious problem, but I knew to move and just keep punches, out punch him. That's what you got to do with a guy like him. Plus, well, I've seen in there, too, also, that you was, you was trying to set him up with different shots. But mm -hmm. this guy here, he's a veteran. He's been, you know, in, in the camp with Mike Tyson and different yeah. people. So he know how to roll with punches, know how yeah. to smother punches, yeah. and he know how to take a good shot. Yeah. And I've seen that you was, you know, trying to set him up with different shots yeah. and maybe try to get a good land one in uh -huh. there. And you did a great job. I, I tried, but uh, just like you said, he's been in with some of the best. And uh, he's got good defense, and he puts in a pretty good offense. And he's, he's a tough guy. You know, let me ask you this. Yo, know, uh, we're going to ask you this, Robert, before we find out where you're going to go from here. Did you feel that the sudden loss of weight, or I don't know how sudden it was, was going to affect you in this fight? No, it wasn't a weight. I won't, I won't make excuses. It wasn't a weight. What happened is this guy was tough. He was throwing back some good, hard shots. It wasn't a whole lot, but I'll, all I could do was try to outpoint him. What him grabbing, pushing, pushing around a little bit. He's a strong guy. Takes a little bit out of you. What's next? You, know, you, you got an impressive know. record. Where do you go from here? Oh, well, we're still moving up. Gradually, we're going to take one or two more fights like this. Then we're going to move up to the next level and the next level. We hope to do that within the next few months. Well, I've had the pleasure of doing a few of your fights, and uh -huh. I certainly hope I have the pleasure of doing okay. some more in the future. Thank Good you. luck to you, Robert thank Wiggins. You. Okay. And uh, yes, right. thank you very much for joining us, Bernard Hopkins. Here we're going to bring in uh, Joe DeGuardia from uh, Star Boxing, and uh, uh, Joe, first of all, uh, congratulations on an absolute. Let's get you in the middle too. I hate to do this, as Bernard. <laughs> all right, it's always good. This is what we call seat of the pants. Uh, television, but uh, it, it's amazing. Every uh, one of your promotions, uh, promoter Joe DeGuardia, Star Boxing, uh, you, you put on another fabulous uh, presentation here. Uh, you've you've had the knack of having very competitive, evenly matched fights. Uh, the, the crowd support has been great. Uh, where do you see us, where do you see yourself going now? We ask Robert Wiggins with your programs in the future. Well, as far as Robert, I mean, uh, he's an exciting fighter. He's, he fought a guy in here tonight who's a tough guy. Ron McCarthy's fought uh, a lot of my fighters. Joe Puda, he's fought um, uh, Monty Barrett, and he's always hung in there. He's a tough guy, and uh, Robert was in a, with a tough guy tonight, an experienced veteran. Uh, no doubt about it, and uh, this, 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 this uh, Pennsylvania uh, crowd has been very appreciative. And, and by the way, for, for those of you who don't know, and most people do, we got a former Golden Glove champion here right now in Joe DeGuardia, and uh, I would have liked to have seen if the weight differential wasn't there, how you, Bernard Hopkins, would have fared against him. Well, first of all, I think that uh, it would have been a tough fight early, and I probably had to go on a couple of them a couple of times a week, and but I think it would have been great. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's competitive. I think it would have been great. Well, again, uh, a, a great presentation, a, a great program, a tremendous crowd who really love, who love those uh, who, who appreciate their boxing. And uh, to all of those watching uh, from uh, Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing and the whole crew here, thanks to everyone for a superb job. I'm Stu Taylor. Have a great evening.